Committee and Delegation Business Presentation and Statements Number 1, Report from the Standing Committee on Education and Employment. I call the Honourable Member for Herbert. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Speaker. On behalf of the Standing Committee on the Education and Employment, uh, the, uh, I present the Committee's report entitled TAFE, an Australian Asset, together with the minutes of the proceedings and evidence uh, received by the Committee. On February 24, uh, 2014, the Minister for Industry asked the Committee to inquire into and report on the role of the te technical and further education system and its operation. In undertaking this inquiry, the Committee continued the work of the Education and Employment Committee of the previous Parliament, although with slightly revised terms of reference. The TAFE sector is the largest education training provider in Australia, with 61 government-owned institutions and university TAFE divisions. TAFE is also a major public provider of vocational education and training, or VET, accounting for just over 70 per cent of the equivalent full-time VET students in 2010. The committee has spent the best part of this year taking evidence on TAFE, and this report is the culmination of the committee's work. The report considers the Commonwealth's involvement in VET, uh, the development of skills in the Australian economy, the pathways that, uh, that TAFE provides to employment and university, and, the TAFE's, and, sorry, and TAFE's place in a competitive VET market. Wherever the committee went, strong support was expressed for TAFE's role in vocational education and training, both during formal evidence and more informally. In our, report, our report acknowledges the, the, the positive impact that TAFE can have on people's lives and the critical role that TAFE plays in the Australian community. Yet, there is no foundational statement in the Council of Australian Government's framework that recognises the crucial importance of TAFE in the VET sector. The committee recommends that the Australian Government should make, a, uh, make such a statement through COAG defining the role of TAFE within the sector and acknowledging the unique functions that TAFE can, contrib can contribute. This, the statement should also set out the future direction of TAFE in the competitive training market and recognise that affordability and accessibility of this market is underpinned by a strong public sector provider. As the major public provider of vocational and educational training, TAFE plays a vital role in the development of skills in the Australian economy. A broader issue that emerged, sorry, a broader issue that emerged here was the wide variability of the training quality in the VET sector something noted last year in the, in, uh, the Australian Skills Quality Assurance Authority or ASQA in its review uh, of the important aged and community uh, care training sector. The committee recommends that this be addressed either through increased pre prescription and precision through the national training packages or through the development of measures or, uh, for assessing skills uh, acquired. A range of evidence, including the committee's own, own online survey and personal stories, highlighted TAFE's importance as a provider of pathways to employment and university. Related to this is TAFE's significant role as a provider of opportunities for those, those in positions of disadvantage and vulnerability. TAFEs are often the main provider for VET for those in remote and rural areas and have a higher ratio of disabled and disadvantaged, disadvantaged students compared to provi private providers. For those who are disadvantaged or vulnerable, TAFE can be life-changing. Its courses can help people to gain confidence and skills and lead to better employment and, ac and access to mainstream education. This, employment fun this important function is a particular issue for TAFE, one of several, as it operates in a competitive, market tra a competitive training market, and the committee recommends that the Australian government should uh, seek to ensure that VET funding takes into account TAFE's role in providing opportunities for those people in disadvantage and vulnerability. Another fa factor for, TAFE, uh, for the TAFE sector is the competitive marketplace's level of capital investment TAFE requires. The, uh, the committee was particularly interested in the capital costs needed to run some TAFE courses, and, uh, and such as those requiring large lathes, computer, computer programmed sheet metal cutters and 3D printers. It is concerned that the Australian government VET funding structure does not appear to take these capital requirements into account. Capital costs should be taken into account, and the committee re recommends accordingly. Over the course of its inquiry, the committee became aware of poor marketing practices in the VET sector and other, uh, and other practices of concern, such as the collection of fees in advance. The committee is encouraged by ASQA's recent work in this area and recommends the Australian government should continue its current actions through ASQA and other, uh, and other regulators to address loopholes that allow high-risk and unscrupulous practices. The committee also heard that uh, the Australian government funding provided for TAFE uh, via states, uh, states and territories and currently um, not required for federal government. This is unsatisfactory, and the committee recommends the reporting should be placed uh, into, uh, to capture the 
the entire federal exact contribution made by TAPES. I'd like to thank everyone who participated in this, the Secretariat and the committee also, the positive engagement with the TAFE sector, Hunter Valley TAFE, Regency TAFE and Adelaide TAFEs in, in Perth and also in Townsville. I commend the report to the House. Yeah, yeah. To make a statement in